Bye to Swiss Bank Stray. again to do the flavors of Florida. We did Everglazed Donuts and Cold Brew. Um, so now we're on the other side near the world of Disney. So stay tuned because you know we gotta go in there. That'll be that'll be a different video. So stay tuned for that one. We just did a save the date for Beer Bradley. So also stay uh, stay tuned for that one. Um, very fun. And uh, so yeah, let's get this started. Alright. Gideon's line is pretty long but it, I don't think there's a queue for it. So that's good. It's dying down. But we're off to Joffrey's. They have a Flavors of Florida latte. And I need a coffee. Two for one. Perfect. Here. And some donuts, some pumpkin. That's what we're getting. Honey, vanilla syrup, top of cocoa. All right, so the bumblebee wasn't working, so he asked out of the fat five which one I would like, and I said goofy. Very cute. And at any time, you can always you can also get your picture on one of these. It's really good. And now flavors arrive. We also have the orange flavor cannoli. Right. The cannoli is right here, the bivoli, right next to Joffrey's actually. Um, and I, well, I kind of always forget about this place. You can get gelato here, and, and they do different flavor cannolis. And this time we did the orange blossom cannoli, and then I got the orange blossom uh, latte as well. The coffee's really good, sweet. It's supposed to be sweet. with honey and vanilla. I'm getting vanilla. I, I feel like there's a faint honey taste. But it's good because I'm not a huge. Surprisingly enough, I'm not a huge like honey fan. Are you? What? Honey fan? You like honey? Yeah, like we're not very big on honey. Um, but that one isn't bad. There's definitely like a little bit of an aftertaste. All right, I was looking at the uh, flavor lines thing, and I'm not, I'm not seeing it on here. And honestly, the only reason why I knew they had something is because they had a sticker on the door. So maybe they might not have made it to the pamphlet. But look at the door and they'll show you if they're participating in the flavors of Florida. And it seems like almost everyone is participating. But, oh no! So let's try. It's a good cannoli. It's crunchy and soggy. Cream tastes fresh. But I'm not tasting any orange, any honey. <laughs> Nothing. I even like broke it in half to see if there's like a filling inside. Nothing. Oh, <laughs> mom found it. So it's creamy blend of ricotta, orange blossom, honey, served in a crispy Italian pastry shell. Okay. Maybe that's why it's subtle. Because they, they didn't put a lot of the honey and it's mixed in the mascarpone. And you can only add so much to the mascarpone before it starts becoming like too thin, too runny. So probably why it's very subtle. The shell itself actually feels like it was dusted, like it has cinnamon in it. So that's what I'm getting. I'm getting like cinnamon and like... A vanilla, you know, a vanilla flavored like filling. That's good. Yeah, it's it's a pretty good cannoli. But are you getting any orange or honey? I should say is is a honey. No, no, not even orange or the honey. Do you get the cinnamon? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I love cinnamon. Yeah, so. me too. So the uh, technically, I'll take it as a win, even though it doesn't taste like the flavors of Florida. <laughs> it's still a really good cannoli. And now we're on our way to Deluxe Burger. They do have a um, funny enough, I think they have a, f a flavor Florida burger. But last year they did a lime garage burger and an orange garage burger. This time they only brought back the lime garage. So I don't know if it was just more popular. And I think it's funny that they chose lime because it's orange, you know? I would have thought they would have brought back the orange burger, but hey, I didn't have either last time, so let's try it out. All right, here at the Lex Burger, you can do mobile ordering or you can do your order online. I had some substitutions. So I did my order here at the desk. I think online you can too, but just because there's also an allergy, I really wanted to make sure the cast member know um, my mom's all allergic to avocado. So I just wanted them to know for sure that, you know, please keep it separate. And then here they have the sauces so you can get 1921 sauce. I'm not sure what that means, maybe A1 sauce. Buffalo ranch, stout barbecue, garlic ranch, Chipotle mayo and truffle egg. Yeah. That's fancy. Yeah. And then you can come over here and get your ketchup and mustard. The standards. Mobile pickup will be on the other side. You do your own drinks here. Okay, it is an open kitchen, so you can look inside. There's outdoor seating, but it's very hot. And it's kind of cool. There's actually more seating in the back. But it's still a fairly small restaurant, so. Um, oh, and they have plugs. That's good to know. Your phone is dying, camera's dying. Maybe Deluxe is the place to be. Brought us our food. They have the burger right here. And so I kind of cheated. So this is the Lime Garage burger, but it normally came with pork belly. I'm not a big fan of pork belly because it's just like sometimes can have like a big chunks of fat which is part of the whole thing of pork belly right um, so I asked her if I could actually change the pork belly to regular bacon and they did and then I also asked because mom has a avocado allergy to put the avocado jalapeno dressing on the side so that way we could split the burger and then we got the french fries. French fries don't come with the burgers. So you have to order that separately as well. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna go get a knife to see if I can cut it in half. All right, so there was a bunch of sauces that we saw and I was curious. So this was the 1921 sauce. It's actually a little yellow and I was expecting it to be kind of like an A1 sauce, but it's not. So I'm just gonna try it with my friend. It's almost like a thousand island with a lot more seasoning. It's good. Maybe some Cajun seasoning, mustard, mayo. All right, and then they had, mom said that this one tastes like honey mustard with garlic. And I agree. It's just not as sweet as regular honey mustard. And then this was, this is the garlic ranch. Very garlic. But like, not overdone. And I like this ranch. I don't like all ranches. This one's subtle. And then the other one, the thickest one, was black truffle. Truffle oil aioli. <clears throat> it's very rich, very heavy. Try, Mom. I wasn't recording. I'm so mad. Mom guessed that she liked the, the aioli and she guessed it. She said, oh, it has like a, a hint of mushroom and truffles. It was the truffles. Yeah. I was like, well, okay, Miss Palette, because that's what truffle is, it's mushroom. And I was telling her that truffles are so expensive is because they grow on the ground 
and they have animals track it. Now back in the day, they used to be pigs who tracked the truffles, but they couldn't control the pigs from eating <laughs> the truffle. So they had to train dogs to get the truffle so they were able to train them not to eat it as well. But it's still a very expensive thing because, you know, it's just not easy to just grow them and pick them. They kind of grow wild. But yeah, it was a it was a lot better when I recorded it the first time. <laughs> uh, I wanted to try the the jalapeno crema, the avocado jalapeno crema that's supposed to be on the burger, but I asked for it. Um, It's good. It's kind of like avocado sour cream and it's not spicy at all. Like not even a little bit. But it is, I can see how it wouldn't be nice with the, because especially if you were having the, the, the pork belly or the bacon, the grease, you want to cut it. So that's very good. It tastes like it was done on a grub. It's a little It's salty. But I'm pretty sure that's from the bacon. So a little bit of the sauce. It's a double burger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's two patties. But I think it's because it's the smash burger kind of sauce, so they put two patties. It is getting hot, guys. This is not makeup. I am getting, whew, it's hot out. Yep. It's time for us to go. It's around what, almost one o'clock? I think. Like Sun is coming out to play today. <laughs> so, <laughs> but for our flavors of Florida, it was really good. We got the, oh, it's one o'clock right now. Um, we got the latte, we got the cannoli, and we got the Lime Garage burger. Um, they're all good. Which one was your favorite? Um, I like oh, the burger a lot. Yeah, and I guess we can include the donut that we had too last time. Out of the all, all the flavor of Forever Glaze. <laughs> Forever Glaze, not Everglades. Oh, Everglades. <laughs> <laughs> we stay changing the name. Um, no, I like the burger better. Burger. I think I'm gonna say out of all of them, I like the latte better. Mm. The latte was good. It wasn't overly sweet, um, and like not overly like honey because we don't really care for that. Um, yeah, and the cannoli really didn't taste it. it; just tasted like a regular cannoli. And the burgers was good, but it felt like a regular burger. And I ate the avocado crema too with it, but it didn't feel. It needed just. It was um, lacking a season. Yeah. I felt like the bacon was really salty. Really? No, I didn't taste the, the saltiness of no. the bacon. Mm. But the burger was like bland. Mm. I had no. I did like I covered in the sauce, so yeah, I agree. I, I, I'm like a condiment person, so I I guess that I would agree that it, it wasn't seasoned enough. You couldn't just eat it on its own. No. Um, but yeah, it was a good day. I <laughs> but th that was your favorite out of all of them. But without the season, I ate it. I, <laughs> you I ate it without I, the season. Yeah, I liked it because it had the 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 fried tomatoes. Yeah. Oh, that was your first time having the green yeah. tomato, right? So it tasted good. It had yeah. the bacon that gave it flavor, but the burger the itself. Burger itself. I, yeah, I'm talking about the meat itself. Need a little. Because I did taste it by itself, and I, it had no taste. But so. everything together was good. Yes. All right, so we might be coming back. I'm trying to remember. I think it ends in August. Like maybe the first week of August. I have to double check. But we might come back and try some other ones. The other ones are a little bit more, I think, more difficult. They, they have the Dole Whips and they have like the margaritas and stuff. But to like actually eat like an entree, you had to like have reservations. Homecoming had something, you know, so like, Maybe if I can plan out some reservations, we'll try some of those unique items. Um, but yeah, it was a good day at Disney Springs. My name is Stephanie. Like and subscribe. And thank you for being a part of my world. Bye.